Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old Mods 9. We are, of course, back on the server. The public server's as busy as usual. <laughs> I think we're actually working on setting up two of them. Oh, um, just to help out with, like, uh, player, player counts and whatnot. Uh, we've got a pillager dude over here. I think he'll be fine. Oh. Okay, he's already on one health. Awesome. Um, but in the last episode, we did a few things, which is always a good sign because sometimes we don't do a few things, so it's it's good when we do. Um, the main thing is we set up this tablet, which allows us to just open our entire system, all of our stuff, everything, in one click, which is really, really cool. Um, the next thing we did is we tried to progress further in terms of um, enchanting stuff, I guess. And to do that, um, we set up... You, you know what? I'll actually, I'll run back this way. Well, we set up a backpack, and we were trying to hook it up with not only a tank to store stuff, um, but also an XP pump to pick up stuff. But this guy himself needs a bottle of experience, because of course he does. Um, and so to get that... Here we go. <laughs> Follow me. Um, we tried to set up this guy, which is an uh, easy villagers trader, to get us some... To get us not only some emeralds, but also to get us um, some bottles of enchanting. But word on the street, courtesy of, drumroll please, courtesy of Zathred Tech, uh, we need a cleric, not a librarian, which I think does add up. Um, but regardless, it's fine. Well, it's kind of fine. This guy will give us mending and he'll give us emeralds for paper. The paper of which um, we are actually collecting over in this direction. So <laughs> follow me, follow me. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. We set up a nice little farm for the sugarcane over here. As we can see, we've got a windmill here with a harvester going around collecting sugarcane. On top of that, we have a botany pot with sugarcane. Both of these guys officially started at the same time, as in both the barrel and the chest were empty. And to look at the results, we've got <laughs> four stacks exactly. It's about to change, of course, as that goes in there. So four stacks exactly. And in that exact same amount of time, almost exactly half um, in terms of sugar cane. Um, so that's pretty cool. The, our farm that we've made here is twice as good as one botany pot. Um, is it better to just make two botany pots? Probably. <laughs> Probably. But it doesn't look as cool. So anyhow, I'm going to take out the sugar cane. Um, we're going to process all of this into um, da, 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 into paper so that we can trade it. I'll put all the sugar cane in our system and then just craft as much as it will let me. There we go. And we'll go start trading this stuff. Now, I'm not too sure how the trader block works in terms of... I, I don't know if it's just a villager trapped in a box <laughs> or if it actually has, I guess, like automation perks to it. I think there is... Or if I looked up trader, I feel like there was... Yeah, there was an auto trader if we got our hands on netherite that we could use. Um, so I guess at the moment, all this guy will do is just do the trades, but I mean, that's not the end of the world anyhow. I think, yeah, if you press space bar, it puts the items in. I will say, however, I was going to say he didn't run out of his stuff, but uh, he did eventually, I guess. Uh, but he should level up. So he's now, uh, apprentice tier. We unlock feather falling one as well as the ability to buy lanterns. I guess if we wanted to upgrade him further, I, I may leave him and there. <sighs> We might do some more stuff. <laughs> surprise, surprise, more stuff. I mean, there's, there's a few ideas, right? One is to get my hands on a cleric. The other one is an even better idea, um, which is da -da 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 -da, the Fletcher. Um, G, uh, I'm not, I can't even pronounce that. What, a, what an interesting combination of letters. <laughs> um, G Busroot 6529, or 6592, sorry, um, said if I could get a Fletcher, and then just sell sticks. Now, sticks we can also get from twigs, courtesy of, once again, just helpful comments. Um, courtesy of Mixture again. So if we um, go in here, twigs give you two sticks each. So we've got a bunch of twigs and we might as well turn those into sticks. If we had a Fletcher, we could turn that into stuff. In terms of wood, we should have infinite wood. The only reason we don't is because, oh, well, I guess we do. We've got, uh, you know, 2000 wood right there. Um, so yeah. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Um, oh God. I mean, there's a lot, right? On one hand, should I try to set that up? As in, try to get myself a Fletcher, automate the creation of sticks, set up an auto trader, 
And then we could funnel um, the sugar cane and the sticks into both of these traders. And I mean, that's an option. It's not a bad idea. That would get us a bunch of emeralds, infinite emeralds, allegedly. On the flip side, if you follow me, I've just noticed that our experience is that of 28, which allows us to purchase the looting book. Now, I, I am curious. Is this just going to use nine lapis or is it going to use all of my levels? Okay, it uses all of your levels. <laughs> which I did not expect. I guess that's okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, we've got that now. Um, I'll probably just put that back in the system. <laughs> we might use it at some point. I don't even know why we actually wanted... Oh, that was looting, right? Oh, sorry. I, for some reason in my head, I was thinking it was fortune. No, no, no. We, we do actually want that um, sooner rather than later. And we'll probably just put it on this sword, our iron sword. And we'll end up upgrading this guy anyway. So do we have an anvil? We, we do. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we looted one, so... We should be able to slap this guy down. Chuck this in, chuck that in. I don't have enough levels, but you know, that's fine, I guess. We'll we'll cross that bridge at some point. Okay. Um, all right, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to one of these villages. I think this one's a populated one, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't wanna take all the villages, you know what I mean? So I'll just grab hmm, leather worker. It's not a bad idea. Um, I don't suppose there's like already a Fletcher living here. Cause like I need a cleric as well, right? So, so we need two, at least two villages, but I also, I wouldn't mind leaving some here to make more. But then on the flip side, I could also breed some back at the base. That's not a bad idea. We've got plenty of wheat. We've got plenty of food. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We're, we're going to have a little bit of a villager moment. <laughs> I, once again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of... Just villager gameplay. Because you can you can do so much with them for such little effort. They're like the bonsai pots of, of Minecraft. Instead of setting up, you know, I don't know, a massive thing, you just you just get this guy and he gets you all your stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, sometimes you, you work with what you got. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do real quick is there should be a breeder from Easy Villages. It will need a bed as well as obviously the rest of the stuff. Um, in terms of bed. We do not have. In terms of wool, we do not have. I could loot some beds from the village. I mean, I guess I would only need one. I, I, hey, I took this guy. So, I mean, surely, surely he wouldn't mind. Yeah. No, he, he doesn't mind. He is, yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. No, here's what I'm thinking. Two things I'm thinking. First thing I'm thinking is us getting more um, villagers, right? That's obviously priority number one. Priority number two is, I'm pretty sure they actually make an insane amount of villagers, so I could probably just drop a few off back at the village um, for the sake of everyone else that happens to be uh, on the server. All these other claims um, can get access to, to villagers. So, we'll try this out. Can I make it? Nope. We need glass panes, allegedly, so I'll craft some of those. We don't have glass. All right. I'll smelt up some. <laughs> okay, okay. I've, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We'll go boom. On top of that... I will put the toast away. Oh, no. I'll grab out a stack of toast. Put that away. And grab out a second stack. So that we can get our quarry running a little bit longer again. How's he doing? More redstone. That's always good to see. I might actually take that out now. Redstone's usually, you know, the thing that we're lacking. So, it's always nice to see it. Um, the glass should probably be done soon. And then we'll have everything else that we need. Alright. Glass panes. Awesome. And that should be the breeder. Yep, cool. Awesome. And so this guy can... I mean, he can go anywhere. This area up here looks horrific. Like, it's... It's close to being a building. But obviously, like, we've, we've missed the mark a little bit. Um, this guy looks out of place. The actual um, waystone looks out of place. So I'm going to move this guy at least into the corner. Oh, and it kept the name. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I, I didn't expect that for some reason. Oh, I like that. Um, cool. This could easily get some walls put on or something to, to make this look nice. Eh, it's fine for now. <laughs> All right, um, our breeder, I'm going to place here. This guy requires food items as well as a villager and another villager. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have any extra ones, so I'll just borrow um, this farmer. This farmer can... Uh, oh, 
also go in there, just a normal right click, there they are. And then they just need food items. Now sadly, for whatever reason, they don't care about my toast, as beautiful as my toast is. And so we need wheat. Now for whatever reason, we don't have any wheat. Why is there toast here? That's fine, but let's, let's have that not happen again, mate. Um, that should be fine though. <laughs> um, but if you recall, we had this guy set up and he's still doing his job. Now he's not full of wheat, which is, you know, a little bit of a problem. He's got wheat seeds and stuff, which, I mean, I'm sure there's some use for this stuff that I could probably use it for, but at the moment, I'm honestly just going to get rid of it. Um, and hey, I'll tell you what, the actual breeding process, because we did put some wheat in there. Looks like it worked. We got, we got a bunch of cows. All right, but yes, um, we can turn our wheat into bread. Um, and obviously you need a little bit more bread than what we've got, but it's fine. We'll chuck the bread in there and they should eat the bread and then do what needs to be done. <laughs> and everything should be A-OK. -okay. All right, everything should be fine. Um, if we wanted to, we could easily hook this guy up to be automated. And I, let, let's, let's do it. We actually, I don't know if I'll be able to pull up this comment. But we had someone suggesting using like um, a trash can and stuff for filtering. It was quite a few episodes back, so I'll, I'll try to just search like all the comments. Um, I don't really, I don't really know how I'm gonna find this. What am I searching for? Trash. <laughs> See how many comments have the word trash in it. Um, here we go. Um, Nicholson from a day ago. What what episode? Episode five. Here we go. Um, a trash can, a drawer, and two pipes. Let's see. This is allegedly all we need to pull off greatness. So we'll give it a shot. I I don't have anything. We don't have planks. We don't. Hmm. <laughs> There's not a lot of wood just like in our system, and there really just should be. Like it, it should not be something that we are lacking when we have an auto tree farm and have and have had an auto tree farm pretty much since day one. <laughs> Let's craft a stack. Okay, maybe not a stack of that, but that's fine. Alrighty, trash can is our uh, cobble and stone at the top, and so we've got a trash can. We've got two pipes, so we're going to go pipe, pipe. We're obviously going to have a drawer there to place in the wheat. And then we're going to have a trash can here. And we're going to filter it to have what we don't want, which in this case is mainly wheat seeds. Oh, I just trash canned it. Um, oh, 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 God. Wheat seeds. Can I drag these? Oh, okay. Okay. My game crashed. <laughs> okay. Whatever it was that I just did, don't do that. You know, realistically, um... I believe the item pipes, before you put any upgrade in, just by default, they do nearest inventory first. So we don't even need filtering. It should just work as is. Uh, I believe our pie branch is here. So we can do that. And this guy should fill up with wheat as it, I guess, happens. And everything else should get voided. Cool. Sweet. Wheat. <laughs> nice. Um, awesome. That is obviously what we want. This guy over here has made us three baby villages. Now we can do... Two things. One is I could place them down, and then they'll grow up eventually. That's option number one. Um, oh, okay, 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 yep. Option number two is I believe there is an incubator. Here we go. Uh, it will need a white wool, which I do not have, but I'm probably just going to go get this time. Um, we have some sheep relatively near. Um, the sheep that I know of don't have white wool, but... Oh, do we have string, maybe? Maybe... maybe. <laughs> Maybe we have string. Come on. Come on, surely. Nope, no string. What are, what are the other wool recipes we're looking at here? Fluffy puff and a twig or a, st or a piece of string, sorry. Not a twig. A twisty wig. I see. Um, sheep essence or else I can just dye or I can use soap. Yeah, okay. In fact, I think I can just afford this, can't I? No. Allegedly not. I think we can, but we'll, we'll pretend we can't. All right, I'll... um. I won't head south then, because that's where our red sheep are. We'll head north, get some uh, some white sheep for the white wool. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, there, there was something else I was going to look at real quick. Um, while I was searching up um, trash, I saw a comment um, from um, Illitage quite a while ago. And if we go over here, it involved, in, it, it involved a vacuum hopper, right? Which is from a different mod, the one that I'm thinking of. But can we afford one of these? The XP vacuum? Reason being is, the vacuum hopper, for example, um, from a different mod, has the option to store experience in bottles, right? And, and get you XP bottles. 
possibly these guys as well, like the modular routers could do it. Uh, it's an idea. The pulsating alloys would need pulsating alloy ingots, which are, uh, I think we can do that. How many, do we have a spare ender pearl laying around? We do. Okay, hold on. Let's, I, I say we give this a shot um, because I've got stuff for it. So we might, we may as well, just before we go on our little sheep hunt again. And it gives an excuse, uh, us an excuse to sleep through the night. So we'll quickly run back up here and try this out. So, um, alloy do hickey over here. Boom, boom. He's going to make, make us a pul pulsating ingot. Powered coal can disappear. Um, we already made an, uh, an experience rod early on, thinking that it might store our levels, but it didn't. But hopefully, uh, this guy needs the crystal, which is going to use the nuggets of this guy. So we open this up. Go in here, pulsating crystal. We should have plenty of diamonds. Yep, pulsating crystal. And then vacuum or XP vacuum. And here it is. There it is. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's going to do anything but store the stuff. But oh, look at the phoenix, by the way, right in front of the sun. It is a little bit upsetting that the sun rises in the opposite direction. <laughs> But when the sun sets, it, it you know it looks pretty looks pretty nice. Um, See, so yeah, I don't I don't really know what to make of this guy as of at the moment. Is there anything else the rod is used in? Making mending or something like that. Okay. Very interesting. I don't know why there's just an empty like <laughs> thing here. Redstone mode range. Of course, it's raining. Okay. All right, here we go. Grab the sheep. I might actually grab um some more wool while we're here. Not obviously to make a, uh, an incubator, but just for in general. Uh, we should be able to make the thing now. If I go back in here, incubator. There we go. Craft. What are we missing? Two iron. Why is that? Oh, we don't have two iron. Really? What do we just use the iron on? Oh, we used it to craft the uh, XP vacuum, didn't we? And we happened to use like the perfect amount of iron. Yeah, okay. That, I mean, that's all right. That's fine. We can we can smelt up some iron. Alrighty, boom. Incubator. This guy will go there. And boop, boop, boop. Nice. And so slowly but surely, this villager will grow. And then we'll have a full villager that we can use to do stuff. At the moment, I will grab these guys back out. Put them back to work. You'll go back up there to farm. Um, and you will go into a new trader. So I guess we'll be making some more trading stations. There we go. Um, I think I want two, right? One for the Fletcher, one for the other stuff. Arguably the Fletcher, I want to be an auto trader, but I mean, we don't have, um, the, what do you call it? The netherite at the moment. Um, and the Fletcher, I believe needs a target. Like a vanilla, this guy here, target. Which we can craft. Awesome. So you'll go there. Won't you? Is that, is that not what a Fletcher needs? Hmm, I guess not. Um, what does a Fletcher need? It's not a target. Is there not? Wait, wait. Is there an actual Fletching station? I think there is, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna complain about it, but yeah, sure. Why not? All right, cool. Fletcher sticks into emeralds. There you go. I mean, that's that's all we want. That's it's the perfect deal. It's quite literally the perfect deal. Um, not only do we just have a bunch of sticks um, that I will happily use, um, but we have a bunch of logs that we can combine into a phenomenal amount of sticks, like so. More than we can even use. And then I click this, and we just keep doing that. Um, and we do want to let this guy level up, because sometimes they offer like cheaper trades, right? Maybe? Or is that after you do like the whole... Uh, Save the village from a monster situation. <laughs> I think so. Eh, one or the other. Cool. Um, so we're getting emeralds, which is nice. That'll be used to upgrade our um, cleric villager, which is probably going to have to come from there. I could upgrade... I could, like, turn one of these farmers into a Fletcher and then eventually, you know, put a new one up there. It's an option. Pfft, it's honestly a pretty good option. <laughs> um, so the cleric, I believe, needs a brewing stand, which we apparently don't have... We do have blaze rods, so I think we can just make one. I, I've definitely seen one in a village, but 
whether or not that still exists is up for debate. This guy will go there. Um, I think I will pick this guy up. There we go. And there you go. Cleric, cool. So to level up this guy, I can either buy redstone, which is nice, or I can trade rotten flesh, which would mean I'd need a farm, some sort of auto spawner, which would probably be um, a powered spawner from Ender.io, because we have a broken zombie spawner. This would need vibrant crystals, which we know now is easy, a Z logic, as well as solarium, and an insold chassis which would be more, more solarium and soul chains, which would be powdered quartz and solarium. I think powdered quartz, that's just going to be like crushed quartz, right? Yeah. So that's probably doable. Sure. Um, chassis is doable. The soul chain doable. The Z logic controller would be in a slice and splice. It would need an axe and shears, more of that solarium, silicon, which should be easy, um, and a zombie head, which might be tricky. So the silicon would be clay and a stag mill easy um zombie head a little bit harder to get your hands on mm, the blood infuse is not a bad idea um alternatively do we have a cleaver in this pack no do we have like different types of swords machete katana sword okay Oh, I, I was looking up um, head to see if there was like some sort of, you know, head grabber or something. And there's a sword called the Ender from Ender.io. And its description says this item is currently only used to get mob heads. 7% chance. It's a slow, it's a small chance, but I mean, it's actually a massive chance compared to just, I guess, whatever the default is. And it needs dark steel, which is alloyed obsidian, powdered coal, and iron. It's phenomenally easy to get. Um, so let's let's do it. I will need two bits of iron. I will obviously need two powdered coal, which we pulled out of the guys just before. There it was. So we'll grab one of you and one of you. And then I need some obsidian, which we've got in here. And we also have automated um, down there, which is pretty cool. And so, boom, boom, boom. Cool. Nice. <laughs> We're about to get our sword that we want. And then I've got to kill some zombies, which... Uh, arguably easier said than done. There's probably a few, um, things on the map we could go into, in terms of, like, dungeons. Like, I happen to know, yeah, there's this guy over here, which would have, um, stuff below it that could potentially drop heads. Otherwise, just, in general, zombies, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're not too crazy in terms of, um, trying to find them. So, yeah, not a bad idea. Now, uh, by the way, this is the setup of Spawner. To spawn zombies, to get rotten flesh, to level up this guy, to get experience. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, alternatively, like, maybe it's just easier to buy this and level up. Because, I mean, I need some redstone. The problem is, I think it's going to be a max level cleric. Which sort of makes it tricky regardless. You know what I mean? Um, I'll play their games, though. I mean, all these emeralds we're getting from farms that make infinite of the stuff that we need. You know what I mean? Um, glowstone, that gets a little bit more expensive, I guess. But once again, like this guy's probably... Yeah, he's already... He's asking for... He's like, please, can I have some sticks? I'm in the market for sticks. That's all I want. And I'm like, hey, I I've got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh, there we go. I've definitely made a mess because this guy doesn't want to refresh his tra trades again. But that's fine. No judging here. Um, so this guy is now expert tier, which means his glass bottles I can sell for emeralds. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's one more tier and he'll be master. So I could do more of these trades, which get a decent amount. I could do these, which give a minuscule amount. Um, they give a bit more. I mean, honestly, it looks like the lapis actually do is like cheaper. Because it looks like, yeah, that's the same distance that, an, that the emerald was going to do. So might as well just, you know, buy the... By the lapis. This guy wants some more sticks. Alright, I think we're actually about to do it because I've got a decent amount here. Oh, I forgot about the trades. And like, this guy <laughs> being limited as well. New in this round, Machachi. Oh, uh, in the meantime, it is night time, which means I'll turn on my night vision so you guys can see. And I'll quickly craft. Oh, yeah, because we've got some people on their way. 
Some visitors are coming. This guy here. I could put looting on him. <laughs> That's an option. Uh, I won't do that though because I don't think he's that crazy of a tool. Um, yeah, I, I think it's fine as he is. Uh, but this guy should hopefully get us some zombie heads if we're very, 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 very lucky. Um, or I guess if we're just, yeah. Yeah, if we're lucky. <laughs> um, okay. Oh! Well, hello everyone. It is me, the CEO of Lucky. <laughs> I am indeed lucky. Okay, cool. So the zombie head um, can allegedly make this stuff. I'm just making sure I don't need more before I sleep through the night. Because I need a slice and spice as well. Hold on. Slice and splice. Okay, yeah, this needs a head of its own. So I should try to get another one before this night ends. Because we also need, obviously, the zombie head for this guy. But we need one for the slice and splice as it is. Um, we're also going to need a bunch of this soul stuff. Which I don't I don't yet really know how to get, but I'm guessing... Oh, it's just the soul. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, easy. We've got, we have a machine for that as well. So I just need one more head of, of creature. Um, do we have anything? No. Okay. Um, cool. Well, I mean, it can, I think it can just be any type of uh, mob head, so... Go through here and see if we can get one. Oh, we got a reward. A bone! Oh, no. <laughs> we, we got, um, Curse of Bones. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, my. I just realized I, I haven't been using the sword for, like, 90% of the kills I've just been making. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, look at the durability of it. I've, yeah, I've done, like, nothing. Oh, my God. Or at least I think so. Maybe I was using it. I, I don't know. I don't know how long I haven't been. Alright, well, the night's over. And I haven't gotten another head. So, it's kind of the end of the world. But it doesn't have to be. There could potentially be an item to solve this. And it would be... Um, um, it would be rope and nail. This guy here. So, using rope... And iron, which we may or may not have. We don't have. Okay. Using string and iron, which we do have because I've killed a bunch of spiders. We can get two rope and nails. And with this, we can get a hammock cloth. So that's going to be wool alongside some string. Um, allegedly, we don't have the string. We don't have the string. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, am I allowed to withdraw the wool? No. Okay. What? What? Can I? No? Is it because there's sticks there? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I crush the wool into string? I can get one string per wool. That's an option. I could crushing wheel. I could squeeze it into four, which is probably what we're going to do. Yeah, cool. I'll squeeze it into four. Um, we've got obviously some more guys around here. Um, that will quickly have help us out. Uh, but that should be good. Okay, sweet. We can we can we can work with that. Alrighty, if we can go in here, we can chuck in all of our wool. Oh yeah, well actually we probably only just need that much. So that should be good. And we can make ta-da! A hammock. Awesome. So with the rest of that junk, or most of that junk put away, we can now set up a hammock. So we've got rope and nail and hammock. What we're going to want to do is find a gap of blocks that I believe are four wide. Um, now sometimes it's nice to have like a tree, you know, just because of the way hammocks are. Um, but it doesn't have to be. We'll probably try to do it over here. Um, so there and there might work. No, not enough space. Um, so we'll pick this guy back up. We'll break this, we'll break this, and we'll place it there. Place the hammock. There it is. It's not really hanging. Uh, we can, we can make it hang. Let's do this. Go ahead and place the ropes and nail just a little bit higher up. Oh, if it'll let me. There we go. And that looks a little bit nicer. Now, do we, I mean, do we have a single leaf to place there? No. I guess I've got shears, though. So, what I can do is I can grab those, pick them up, and we can do that. There we go. Now, what we can do is we can sleep through the day and wake up at the sunset. Rub 
Wake up at the sunset. <laughs> Why was there a creeper in my base? I, honestly, saved by the bell. In terms of um, the claims not allowing explosions. Um, but yeah, sunset. Cool. So we'll have night time soon again. And obviously mobs will spawn. And we'll be right back into business. Um, so... I guess we'll we'll try to start building things or at least planning out our inventory um, and the materials we're going to need to build those things, I guess. Because, <sighs> I mean, there's a decent amount of stuff, right? Let's actually repair this tool. That's not the right item. <laughs> Let's repair this tool. Okay, I guess we don't have any ingots in this guy. Let's try to figure out how to repair this tool. Huh, the tool doesn't... Oh, the tool need, needs platinum, doesn't it? And I just filled it with iron. Okay, well... <laughs> that's, I mean, it's not really, a, it's kind of a problem. Do we have any more platinum? We've got a singular platinum. Okay. Will that even go in here? It will. Awesome. Will that repair my pickaxe a bit? It will. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. Um, so, it's night time. Awesome. Let me just look at what, at what we need, right? Um, okay, so first things we're trying to make is the slice and splice. That's like, um, that's the main thing. He'll need a, a head. He'll need four solarium ingots. Um, so that will be four gold, four soul, plus another four. So eight, eight soul soils, plus another four. No, another two. Uh, another three. So I think I need 11 gold and 11 soul soil. So we've got soul soil. Oh, I'm making a bit of a mess. I will just grab out the full stack of soul soil. Um, as well as gold. We'll split the gold in half. We'll split that almost in half. And then both of those can go in there. And that should make what we want. Or at least I thought it would. What's the problem? Soul soil. And gold. Soul soil. Or soul sand. And gold. Soul soil. Gold. Charcoal. Huh. What have I done here? What, what, what am I missing? I feel like there's something obvious I'm missing, right? Gold ingot. Soul soil or soul sand. Primitive alloy smelter. This is a primitive alloy smelter. This is soul soil. This is gold. This is fuel. It's been working previously. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll put it in a different slot. That, that adds up. That makes perfect sense as to why it wasn't working. <laughs> Sure. Um, Alright, where do I need to go now? I just need zombies. Well, I don't need just zombies, but you get the idea. Oh, skeleton skull. Beautiful. And honestly, we're far enough away that I can probably justify using this guy to go back home and to sleep. Awesome. Cool. Alright, so I need to make sure that I use the skeleton skull in the recipe for the slice and splice and not our zombie head. That's probably going to be uh, a mistake we'll make. I would not be surprised at all, but we'll try. We'll, we'll do our best. Um, this stuff should be done. One of these will turn into nuggets. The rest we can pretty much make everything else. Um, I forgot to... Oh, no, I just backed it away as well. Slice and splice. Um, so, soul chains need powdered quartz as well, which will need a sag mill. Sag mill is going to be... A bit of a scary recipe again. Lots of different steps here that we're going to have to craft all the little bits of. Dark steel is just the powdered uh, coal, the iron, and the and the obsidian, which I'll tell you what, I'll just start that up now because obviously we're going to need that. Coal, I'll just make whatever we've got. So it looks like about 15 of this stuff. So we'll go boom, boom, boom. Let that process while we double check the recipe. So dark bimetal gear, we'll need more of that dark steel. The infinity stuff will need, obviously, some infinity grains, which we have. I should... I was going to say I should be able to craft two of those, but I guess I've got to take some of this out. And actually, you know, make it so that I can do that. So, iron. And we want one... Just two for now, I think. To make one of these each. The void chassis we need as well. That will use iron bars, which we do not have. So, we'll order that. As well as take out another iron ingot. Here we go. Void chassis, craft one of those. Cool. Um, how close are we? Soul chains. Obviously need the sag mill. The sag mill we have here. Needed flint, a piston, which I should be able to... I need a lot more iron. 
<laughs> Which we do have the ability to make. It's just, oh. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Open this guy up. Oh, he's full. Let's grab some iron. Um, and what I'm going to want to do is grab the ore hammer out. Boom. And boom. And boom. And then we'll smelt all this up. Alright, we've got the piston. Go back to the sag mill. So do we have everything now to make the sag mill except for obviously the actual dark steel part of stuff? Um, it looks like it. Cool. So this guy here... I mean, he's on his way. It's, it's going to take a while though because these things each require four as well as some of this stuff. So I can make one dark bimetal gear. Cool. <laughs> but obviously we need to wait, wait for more of this. Um, on the topic of that, an alloy smelter I imagine would be faster using electricity. This guy would need some of the stuff we're using already. I could also just make another alloy smelter itself because I think that wasn't too bad to make. Yeah, just three furnaces. I mean, we can do that. Double our production entirely. I mean, w why shouldn't we? Let's go alloy smelt. No, sorry. Let's go alloy smelter here. Um, and we want the primitive one. This guy needs three furnaces. I'll craft eight. Why not? And I should just be able to craft at least one, maybe two. Just one. <laughs> one, one will do. Uh, this guy has some tiny charcoal. Obviously, we're probably just going to grab some charcoal out of this. I could use tiny charcoal. I'm just going to chuck the coal. I mean, we've got plenty of it, right? Might as well chuck it all in there. Um, it has this stuff doing. I'll put an extra one there. And I'll halve the rest of this. And chuck it in there. Will that be enough? Uh, I think it might be. If what, what are we low on? The coal. Okay. Well, we're working on it. That's for sure. Um, so that will be the sag mill. And then that will allow us to get the powdered quartz, which will allow us to make the rest of this stuff because we've already got the rest of it. Okay. So we can put that stuff away if we want. Um, what was the other tricky part? Silicon is clay in a sag mill. So yes, that's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, the sag mill needs power as well. So that'll be interesting. As well as some sort of like grindy ball. Although I saw flint as an option. So I guess we'll use more. Oh, I also saw just none as an option. I guess, yeah, there's different percentages and stuff. Oh, modified by grinding bowl. Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll test it out. You might not need the, the grinding bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might not. Um, okay. I feel like there was more, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Most of this stuff seems fine. Oh, the energized bimetal. This guy needs um, energetic alloy. And that is going to be redstone, gold, and glowstone. Okay, so glowstone, redstone, and then obviously some gold. And we need how many for that? We need two, so we're going to need eight. So we're going to need nine, I believe. So that can go away. And so with these done, I can place you and you and you. And that will start up. And this guy is about to be done. In fact, I can take that stuff out already. And I can preemptively place that stuff in. And that should work. He'll need some coal as well pretty soon. So I'll just chuck that stuff in there. Put the tiny coal away. And I think we're pretty much done. We'll get another... Uh, oh, not, I didn't actually want one of those. I wanted a um, dark steel one. That's fine. We'll probably need more of that stuff later anyway. Um, and so, sag mill is crafted. This guy does need power, which obliges me to place him down here. Just because eventually this this room's going to get kitted out. Or at least that's my wonderful idea. One day. Um, um, should, I, should we start doing it a little bit? I'm going to pick up the furnace. Which is going to make a bit of a mess. But that's fine. I'm going to place the furnace. Hmm. I'll place the furnace here. I'll place the charger here. I don't really know how I'm going to run the power. I kind of want to move the builder. Should we move the builder? Let's move the builder. I'm going to pick this up. hope it doesn't crash me or anything. That's there. I'll grab out our shape card and our filter. I'll pick this guy up. Hope that it didn't break anything or make a mess. You're going to go there. You'll have the lever on top. You will receive the shape card as well as the filter. Um, and I'll just press restart. Hopefully that'll just get him ready to go. Open him up. Obviously, the coal gen's going to go there. Cool. So, everything's pretty good to go. This guy's obviously going to need some, some fuel. 
um, as well as the actual augments to go on. So boom and boom, that should be good. He can receive that and start making power. Um, this guy, I'm gonna tell him to, well, I guess he's already outputting below. And then I guess I'll just run a cable. Uh, the cable I'm gonna use at the moment, I'm just gonna use energy pipes, simply because they're the easiest to make um, and the easiest to set up. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so that should be fine. I'll grab my ax. And we'll make a bit of a mess, but it's all for the greater good, I promise. So we'll go into here. I'm probably just ulti mine that stuff, right? Yeah, cool. So the energy pipe underneath all of these. Uh, the generators, so this one and the coal generator will be outputs, and the rest should all be good. So I can cover that up. That guy, meh, it should be fine. Um, so is this guy getting power? Not yet. Is this guy outputting power? Not yet. Oh, he is. It's just very, very slow. Okay. How slow is it? I can look under here, I think, if I get the right angle. 256 power per tick. If we consult this guy, I can search um, upgrade and we can get a pipe upgrade. First tier uses um, iron and redstone. Next tier uses gold and redstone. I don't have any gold at the moment though. But this guy uh, doesn't actually have the tooltip, but I guess I can show you what it does. So we can right click this guy in there, like so. And it now goes up to 1000 per tick, which is pretty good. As you can see, it's draining pretty fast. None of the powers get into where it wants to because I think this guy's uh, sucking it all up because of course he is. Um, so what we might want to consider doing would be setting up like a slab or something to place there um, just so I can disconnect him. You know what I mean? Now the power should be going everywhere else. I would hope this guy would receive power, but he's not doing that yet. Do I need to tell him to pull power? Insert a capacitor. Oh, I see. Okay. I need a capacitor from Enderio. I recall finding capacitors in dungeon chests back in the day. I, I don't think we've found any so far, um, but we could make one. How hard are these guys to make? Oh they, oh, they use previous ones anyway. So we might as well just craft the most basic one. There we go. And so we can chuck this guy in here and now we can store power. Cool. Nice. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. So first things first, I guess I'll grab out um, some clay. Probably just grab out all the clay. And we'll grab three bits of clay, I guess. Chuck them in here. And this guy should probably... He's pretty quick. That's good. And 80% chance to get silicon, allegedly. I don't know if you need the grind ball or whatever it was. Oh, no, you don't. Cool. Nice. Um, what was the other thing we had to grind up? Um, it was quartz, I believe. So we'll go in here. Um, we'll grab one. We'll grab two. We'll grab three. Why not? Chuck that in there. Okay, I should process. So we've got four silicon, plenty of clay if we want to do some more, and some powder quartz. I think we're going to actually want quite a bit more of that processed. So, yeah, we'll chuck like 10 in there. Um, if I wanted to, I can make like a grind ball and stuff. I'm not going to yet, but I'm, I'm sure they're great. <laughs> I'm sure they're wonderful. We just don't quite... I, I can't be bothered making them. That's, that's just the harsh... That's the harsh truth of it all. <laughs> Alright, we'll sleep. Awesome. Back down here. How are you doing? Nice. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. So, soul chains. I know that I need at least four of these. I have a feeling we need more, but we'll we'll leave it there for now. Um, and this is to create the slice and splice, right? Yeah, this insold doohiki. There we go. One insold chassis. The next up is the energized alloys and stuff. So hopefully they're done. They'll obviously be up here. Four and five, perfect. One of these into nuggets. Um, da, da, da. So I would like two of these, so one. And then I think I need another one of these, which we should be able to craft. And then another one of those. Awesome, two. Next is the slice and splice, I believe. But I think I want to do that in my own crafting table. So the head, I will need the solarium if we have any more. Four, which I think is actually perfect. And can we now craft this guy? I need an iron bar, a single iron bar. And we've only gone and done it. Skeleton skulls what we want to use because the zombie head will be used for a different recipe shortly. This guy I think needs power. So we might want to just like, I guess, loop him around here. Slice and splice. 
Um, he'll need a capacitor two, of course. Capacitor, wonderful. Craft one of those. What's he need? That stuff. Sure. We'll pretend like we've got the stuff for that. Capacitor, wonderful. In he goes. In goes the power. Now we can slice and we can splice. He requires an axe. I assume just a vanilla type of axe. What axe do we want to make? We'll make a stone axe. <laughs> Maybe, we'll, yeah, we'll make an iron axe just because I'm feeling generous. Iron axe goes in. Cool. Then we want to slice and splice a Z logic controller. Two solarium, two silicon, redstone, and other stuff. As well as a zombie head. Okay, so the solarium is the only stuff that I don't think I have at the moment. So I'll need two soul soil. In the gold department, we don't really have any. That would be a problem if it wasn't for this guy here. Friendly neighborhood gold guy. Um, so boom and boom gives me that stuff. Wonderful. We'll go ahead and smelt up the six first and then the rest of it. Alrighty, and then one and one. Awesome. And one and one. That should be the two. Is that all we needed? Um, this guy, I'll rebookmark him so he's at the front. We can also probably... I mean, there's some stuff there that I want to make eventually, but we'll, we'll just kill him up again. It's just a lot nicer to have it have it clean. Um, I do require the silicon. So we'll grab one, two. I will need the redstone, which I have. The solarium we're making. The zombie head I've already placed in the machine. So you and you. And I think we are good to go. Can I just paste the recipe in? <gasps> I can! And it has begun. It will use some durability, I guess, as it has started crafting. And then we should be good. Cool. Now, this guy, of course, was to make the powered spawner. This guy here. So, for this guy, we'd need even more solarium. Um, which we can do. We've got some gold cooking up. There we go. We've got plenty more soul soil in the system, and we can make more if we need to. That's not a problem. Um, how much do I need? Four, eight. Is it just ten? Is that what we're looking at? I think just ten. I think I think ten works. So we'll go here, cut that in half. Um, we'll go here. We'll go here. Boom. We'll cut that in half. So I can just go boom and boom, and boom and boom. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Cool. Nice. So we'll let that happen. That'll be wonderful. Um, down here, this guy sliced and spliced, and we've got a Z-Logic controller, which we'll happily use shortly. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's that's where we're at. Um, on top of that, I did notice that we will need two more Vibrant Crystals, which will be more of this stuff, which is just Energetic Alloy and Ender Pearl. Okay. We don't have Ender Pearl. <laughs> That's a problem. Um, I do, however, have enough experience to upgrade our sword with looting three. So we'll go in here. You, I could. <laughs> this guy would need six levels. Yeah, let's just do that. I was going to enchant him just normally to get something. Maybe I'll look just in case, like if I chuck my sword in there, it offers me I'm breaking three or something at a lower um, enchanting cost. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if it. it Hmm. Like if it had a soul bound for cheaper, I might have just done that for the for the sake of it. But we, there's no point. All I really care about is the uh, the looting on this guy. At least at the moment, that might change in the future. Um, looting three. Yep, I'll take it. And while that other stuff is processing, I'll hop in here and see if I can meet a few Enderman friends. And hopefully, get a lot of pearls. I only need two pearls, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll see how we go. Once again, every time I look up there, there's someone up there. Friendly neighborhood Enderman. Alright, I've got my Ender Pearls. There was another Enderman angry at me, but he'll probably show up at a later date. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Uh, I've got pretty much most of the stuff. This guy we will have to craft, which we'll actually need one, two. Okay, that seems fine. I'm always scared that I've like got the wrong amount of stuff, but I think we're good. That's the chassis. Then I need four more, which we've got. I've got a broken spawner. We need two vibrant crystals, which I'm crafting the energized stuff for. And then one of these and one of those should craft the next thing. Yep, cool. So one of you and one of you. Awesome. 
And that should be exactly what we need. Um, now, do I just want to do, like, like what spawner do we want? Because spawner agitator, what does this guy do? When placed on mob spawners, the spawner agitator will prevent the spawn entity from despawning when the player leaves the area. Additionally, the spawner will keep spawning while the player is not in the area. So that's how to make a mob farm out of a spawner. We're trying to make our own spawner. I could use a necromancer. I thought we had, yeah, here we go. Catacomb zombie spawner. I mean, it should work, right? We're probably going to use that, I think. I don't really know if there's a way to like tell the loot that we'll get from it, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Uh, so I think I've got everything that I need. Um, oh, wait, not yet. I need to turn these guys into the crystals real quick. So we go here, craft two of those. I swear I used the diamond before. Does it alternate the, the recipe for this? No, okay. I swear I'm going crazy. I, I swear it used... Is this a different crystal I made maybe? I must have... Oh, I made a pulsating crystal before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whew. Yeah, that, that adds up. All right. Do I want to make a spawner with the catacomb zombie? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I could put a different... Like, if I get a different soul, then I could make, like, an Enderman spawner, for example. Empty soul vial. Hmm. I feel like we might as well go the, go the, full, the full way, right? I need fused quartz, which is quartz in the smelter. That's doable. Let's grab quartz and give that a shot. So I need one, two, three. Awesome. And you guessed it. Two there, one there. Oh, that looks nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll try this out. I don't really know what's happening with the soul though. Do I need a specific way to catch them? Soul binder. How do you work? Oh, you actually bind the thing to the thing. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Franken zombie for a vibrant... Yeah. All right. Um, so I need one of you regardless. That's a... I mean, it's a, not a bad recipe. It's just an annoying recipe. Because it's more of the stuff that I just made. Or I just settle with the zombie one we've got. What are we thinking? What's our verdict? <sighs> um, if I want to upgrade the cleric... Oh. No, if I want to upgrade the cleric, we're, we're doing it the other way. Why, why am I making a spawner? <laughs> why am I doing that? I don't know. We're probably... Uh, what am I doing? Why have I done this? Um. Yeah. What do we... I feel insane. Okay, okay. Let's just continue here. So this is now a max level cleric, his master. He offers bottle of enchanting for three um, goodies. The goodies I can actually still afford from this guy. If I were to grab this and make them into that. And go here. There we go. I can now craft bottles of enchanting. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to... Like, like, here's the thing, right? I want to just make the spawner, and then that's the episode. The problem is, I feel like making this zombie spawner is just pathetic. Like, I, like I don't think there's much of a point to it. Whereas, I feel like if I make the... Like, if I'm able to actually make a, uh, an Enderman spawner, that would be really cool. The problem is, the effort to get that guy, I need to somehow figure out how the soul vial works. I need to actually make the soul binder, which needs an entirely new logic processor, which needs another zombie head, which it wouldn't be too bad. Like, wouldn't be bad if I was aiming for this at the start. You know what I mean? It's not, like, it's not that much, but I don't think I can be bothered. I, I would much rather rebuild the entire thing in a future episode with, like, bulk amounts of them crafted at once. Does that make sense? 
This guy just straight up didn't come out. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you what. We're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna make it. We're just gonna make it as it is. Boom. Catacomb zombie. There we go. Powered spawner. Here it is. Um, how does he work? Well, he needs power and then he'll spawn. So here he is. He looks cool. I'll give him that. We'll go in here and search for our capacitor. I'll just spawn some stuff here and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there, I guess. So there he is. Obviously he needs power. Um, we'll pick up the coal gen. Power this guy. And we'll go ahead and grab a stack of coal. Um, so do, if I just power him, is that, is it just going to start spawning? Yeah, there he is. And so that hurts me. And then I can kill him. And he, I mean, he drops rotten flesh. Sweet. Um, let's go ahead and say active with signal. So he just turns off real quick. But hey, <laughs> I mean, it works. So I could, I could easily turn this into a spawner and just get infinite rod and flesh, I guess. Cool. All right. Well, hmm. How easily could I make the spawner? Is it something I could do right now? <laughs> probably not. It, I mean, it's probably going to have to happen in the next episode, but it's happened nonetheless. I could either title this episode Powered Spawner or I could title it like Slice and Splice. You know what I mean? Because we sliced and splice. I guess we powered spawner. It's just we didn't really hook it up properly. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, we made the thing, right? We showed it off. I mean, it's that simple, right? This is now just, it's a spawner. You provide it with power, you set it up somewhere, and you spawn it. Um, in terms of changing the mob that's within it, I don't necessarily think that we can. Which, I, I mean, I, I'd imagine you can. But, but I don't I don't see how you know what I mean like I'm not sure what would do it if, the, if that makes sense like unless there's some sort of um enchantment that does it repellent teleport attackers away that's pretty cool a bunch of withering stuff XP boost that's nice and then is there one that just like removes I I'm looking for one that says like ah removes soul from powered thingy thing. I wonder, I could also like maybe hit this thing with a soul binder with a soul vial and it might somehow do it. Part of me guesses no though, to, to be completely frank with you. Um, but I'll tell you what, we'll consult that in another one. So I'm um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. Um, fingers crossed that that is the case. Thank you, of course, to our donators and channel members. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you, guys. Um, and da -da -da -da, head over here. Watch our frame rate increase rapidly. And, oh, we're up to date. We're up to date, but there's a Phoenix. Oh, it's made of dirt. <laughs> is it meant to be made of dirt? Yeah. This is today's law. Here we go. The Tundra Spy Tower. Inspired by Tasty Air. Oh, there's a... Oh. Beautiful. Squids. Okay. Go in here. What are these? Cobblestone square pavings? Pavings? All right, cool. What's in the ground? Stairs. Okay. I see. Can I sneak through there? I can. What are these? Cut Amethyst from the Twigs mod. Hmm. I mean, the basic design of it, like concept looks looks nice all right cool all right that's it thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the episode hopefully yeah you're enjoying the series and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one oh this we still haven't even thought about doing bees Ooh. okay yeah all right goodbye